second ring it's okay i don't have to do anything but this one is a little bit uh, too tight this thing is right at twelve thousand. i need to go up to about 17 minimum is seventeen thousand. yeah for turbo all rusted out yep it's gonna be a journey oh man <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Targetnet 2. Today we get to uh, install the piston rings and the connecting rod. This one is a little bit tight. Try 17. Yep. That's 25. And this is my uh, specs. I'm using a SW series turbo 17 to 19, and second ring is 20 to 28. That second ring I'm using 25, it's good, it's good there, very good there. ring markings right there three the spacer has to go in a certain way it's more like a letter U facing up from where it breaks second ring again markings Second ring is this side. There we go. Markings for the top ring. Four again, letter U facing up. I will double check this once everything is finalized. 
when I'm about to put this on the block. Doing a lot of research when it comes to K-series from where to locate the bearing tabs or tanks. It must be facing on the exhaust side. And also following service manual instructions, they want the embossed marking to be facing towards the timing chain area, which is they have this arrow and the location of the tanks or the tabs is right here. So it will be facing the exhaust side. So this one here, the tabs is here, marking is here. So I'm gonna put this like so. I already put some lube on there, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. For the lock ring, you don't want the end to be on this side. This slot is for removal to make it easier. So all you need to do is just pick it. This is how I install this lock ring. Just aim it like so. Press on it. Right there, it's already seated. Let me get my pick. I'll make sure that verify everything is locked in. Somehow I don't have my uh, <laughs> my pick, but to verify, make sure everything is locked. Right there. Just give it a a spread uh, action. Verify, make sure it's in the groove, both sides. No second chance on this one. Again. Arrow, markings, the tabs or tangs, exhaust side. It's number one. Number two, let me add some more lube on this. I see this one right here, the bronze, the bushing. It has a canal inside. I guess that's where the oil will go through and it adds up some lubrication on the wrist pin markings okay that's good right there put the lock right there it's good sound give it a spread turn it it's locked both sides okay i'm on there there we go. making sure all the flanges are good hello everyone welcome back to the channel today's episode we get to build the short block
Cool, man. Let's see. Oh, wow. I did have one motor that I built that it rotates by hand. That was the B18C1 block that I got. Because I had that thing line board. But wow, man. For a used motor like this, it's amazing. That's VTEC power right there, man. Wow. That's pretty cool, man. Cool build. All right, uh, last thing to do here is torque the outside bolts and flip it over and that will be next.